It's their infectious energy and inspirational stories that make these Cambodian teenagers the star attractions wherever they go. <laughs> Only a few years ago, travelling overseas to perform in their own show seemed impossible. Hello, we are Tiny Toon, we are from Cambodia. Now we are rehearsing for Australia. We are coming. See you soon. They came to Australia with Melbourne social worker Romy Grosberg, who helped raise $30,000 for the trip. She's a volunteer at the Tiny Tunes organisation in Phnom Penh. Without Tiny Tunes, they may not be alive today, or they may be back on the streets doing drugs. Tiny Tune turned me from the bad kid to the good kid. The performers tell their stories using the dance, rap and music skills they learn at Tiny Tunes. It's a chance to let go of the past and express their hopes and dreams. Yeah, I would have a show like Oprah. I would be the host of everything. It's tough because in Cambodia, it's not a very verbal, I suppose, community where you talk about your feelings and emotions. Counseling is kind of a new phenomenon in Cambodia. Social work has just started as a university degree in the last three years. Participants at Tiny Tunes range from 4 to 25 years old. They often come from broken homes, gangs, prostitution or lives scarred by drug and alcohol abuse. The organisation welcomes anyone who walks through the door. 3,000 people did last year alone. As well as dance and music, they learn computer skills, English and Khmer, also HIV, drug and sex education. It's much more than just dance and music. We use those things as a tool for empowering people. and. It when you come to Tiny Tunes you can actually really see that, that that is what's going on. You've got people that had no confidence when they arrived and are now oozing confidence and that allows them to go back to school and feel that they actually can complete school. Tiny Tunes was founded by Twee Sobel, nicknamed KK, a Cambodian born in a Thai refugee camp after his family fled the persecution of the Khmer Rouge. His early years were spent in Los Angeles where he became a champion breakdancer, but gang life and stints in prison saw him deported to Cambodia in 2004. Determined to improve his life, KK took street kids under his wing and taught them how to breakdance in his home. <laughs> Before I got to know Tiny Tunes and KK, I was considered to be arrogant, a bad person. I used drugs, got into physical fights and didn't go to school. I did a lot of things considered to be socially unacceptable. Nineteen-year-old Chongra and Vai, nicknamed Beaver, can't believe how much his life has transformed. After I got to know Tiny Tunes and KK, I've changed a lot. Tiny Tunes has taught me the value of life. I became a rap artist and travelled overseas to places like Singapore, Thailand and Melbourne. 18-year-old Sovran Dithri, also known as Fresh, dropped out of school when his father died of alcoholism. When I joined Tiny Tunes, I became a different person. I was given a job teaching dancing. I made an income from performing. I helped to ease the financial burden of my family. Tiny Tunes gave me a scholarship to further my tertiary education. After I became a good dancer, Tiny Tunes gave me the job to pass on my skills to other kids. Tiny Tunes also sent me to study more about children's rights and human rights, which I knew nothing about. 25-year-old Keo Srilik, or Diamond, grew up in a poor and broken family. She dropped out of school in grade four to sell chickens at the market. Her life changed dramatically when she was introduced to KK in 2005. Diamond is the name given to me by KK because I'm the first woman in Cambodia to become a break dancer. The diamond is considered to be precious and rare. 
With the ever-increasing help from aid agencies, Tiny Tunes is growing every day. The main centre in Phnom Penh now has several classrooms, a computer lab, a recording studio and open space for dancing. As well, outreach teams visit slum areas to provide free education and counselling. Everybody that comes in there, whether they're staff or students, uh, such inspiring people. For me it's been a really exciting place to be where you can actually see people grow and heal themselves and, and move on with their lives. Thank you.